Welcome back to Buzz TV. I'm Steve Strum. This morning we have Gavin Carlin from Good Lad Soccer. Good morning. Morning, Steve. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We were talking offset. Uh, you're a professional softball player. No, no. <laughs> no, a professional soccer coach. Oh, got it. But, but you use your hands. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, yeah, all right, so to help me understand, uh, where does somebody use their hands in soccer? That would be the goalkeeper position. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, okay, so you're a professional soccer player that has come to the United States, played soccer professionally. Now you coach people on how to be uh, an elite performer in that in that sport. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, that's great. I'm the uh, owner of Good Lad Soccer. We started in uh, 2015, basically working with kids of all levels, of all ages, uh, here in the, the Jacksonville in the First Coast area. Uh, we run camps, we run summer camps, uh, private training, and then uh, extended day at schools as well. So, and, and you're from Europe yes, and correct. Ireland. Yeah, right? Ireland, that's correct. Yeah. Which, which is interesting because I'm of Scottish descent, you're of Irish descent, I played soccer against your position, and so you and I in several different ways should probably be having a fight right now. Uh, well, we'll, we'll let that we'll slide. We'll get that later. Right? We'll, get, we'll <laughs> talk about yeah, it maybe next time. So, uh, so, how did you get involved in the coaching side? Well, I was very lucky. Um, I was uh, at the age of 16, I joined Premier League club uh, West Bromwich Albion, and I received some very good uh, tuition and very, some very good coaching when I was there. I was coached by a guy of the name of Dan Ashworth. He's the head of soccer in England right now, the Football Association of England. So um, I got really, uh, from there, I seen that uh, while I was playing, I developed a love of the coaching and teaching, because obviously you have to be realistic. Co uh, the soccer side of things is not gonna last forever, you know? So it's when I, I came to obviously Jacksonville University. Um, I was playing over here and uh, I was coaching at what is now the Jacksonville Armada. They were known as the JFC mm -hmm. back then. So I was coaching on the side, just doing a little bit while I was uh, in university and just developed a love for it. And uh, I knew that I had so much knowledge from my playing side of things that I knew I had to pass it on to the kids. Yeah, well that's the knowledge that you gain in those type of things because yeah, the body does break down. And a as a goalkeeper, uh, people like me would purposefully run into you as hard as I possibly could to see if I could knock you over. <laughs> and being a foot taller than me, I would generally lose. Yeah. <laughs> so what types of services do you provide for, for coaching? Uh, well, the, the services we provide is mostly the private training all throughout the year. We also do the uh, camps then in the summertime and then in the wintertime then we do uh, winter camps as well, weekend winter camps for the players. Uh, as for the style of training then, the training uh, I noticed when I come over here, American kids, they're very, uh, you know, they're athletic kids because they're developing so many other sports, baseball, basketball, track, swimming. Yes. I just noticed the, the training uh, when it comes to my style is a little bit more refining on the tactical side of the game and that's where our coaching style really comes in where we keep the training style intense tac tactically based so the kids are more are game smart when they work with good lad soccer and uh, that'd be the main style that we try to try to incorporate so different between american soccer european soccer tall what is the difference that you've seen in the style of play being playing both collegiately and professionally in both continents uh, that's a very good question uh, when i first came to this country uh, i noticed uh, in Europe, in England and Ireland, it, it was more tactical, slower build up and a little bit more methodical. We're over here, it was bang, 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 who could, which man was gonna drop the quickest? There was not 90 minutes of, of nonstop action. Yep, that's true. Uh, and, 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 and that is just, uh, it's interesting to see the different styles of play because the style of play in the Americas is different than the style of play in Northern Europe that's different than the style of play in Southern Europe that's different than the style of play of South America. So I know you, you coming from Northern European style. Wh what's your favorite? Did you did you keep the European style, or did you put a little bit of that bang bang America into it? Well, no, we try to uh, incorporate everything. You know, there's no right and wrong way. Um, obviously, then when we when we come over here to America, you know, it's more uh, upfront, it's fa fa faster paced. You know, so we uh, that's why I find that good lot soccer has been such a hit because we incorporate that fast paced American style with a little bit of tactical European set of knowledge into the training as well. So when I'm working with kids, we do, obviously the sessions are 60 minutes in length, and we try to keep the pace where it's, they're working for 51 to 52 minutes out of the 60, and everything's stopwatch, everything's timed. So you really find that the kids are getting their most, uh, most out of the training, and they're getting incorporated into a lot of different styles as well. So they're getting some things that you can provide due, due to your mix of your professional, personal career, as well as uh, the different styles of play about the yeah, country. Yeah, that's correct. Um, Obviously, well, I'll play it professionally at West Brom. I try to incorporate a lot of those drills into kids uh, here in Jacksonville and the first coast and kids that travel from farther afield to come and train with us. 
Um, I th try, as I say, like I said, I take from what I've learned in Ireland, England, and then I can add it then and make them over, overall a better player. If people want to find out more about how to become coached by you, yes. uh, how do they connect with you? They can go to my website. Uh, it's goodladsoccer.com. They can also find us on Facebook. Uh, it's, uh, it's Gavin Carlin Soccer. And also my cell phone number, my personal cell phone number. I like people to get straight in touch with me. It's 904 2472 So as the owner, they can call you directly. Directly. That's amazing. And so for the Good Lad Soccer, uh, you guys are doing some really neat stuff. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, and thanks for letting me, you know, have some fun with my, my goalies from the other side of the table. Guys, thanks for joining us on Buzz TV. If you like us, share us. Remember, live with gratitude.